Welcome to part three of our series, Bifurcation of Timelines, part three, Ascension Paths and Light Quotient. Here's a Venn diagram of the Phantom Matrix and the Living Matrix. And you can see here on the left side of our Venn diagram, we have the Phantom Matrix, which is finite energy, it's chaotically organized, it's governed by a negative alien agenda. And on the right-hand side of our Venn diagram, you'll see the living matrix, which is infinite energy. It's governed by divine law, and it's peaceful and loving. And in the middle of our Venn diagram, we have our overlap. We have our bifurcation of timelines and our ascension paths available. The phantom matrix is governed by an alien agenda. This is a picture of Zulu Sangusi Credo Mutwa, who speaks of the alien agenda and the Chitari. This is a picture that he painted of a Chitari. He was abducted by them and has had interactions with them in South Africa. So these are the beings that are in control of the Phantom Matrix. And they have been fighting over our souls and the dominion of Earth for millions and millions of years. Um, at this time, the Guardians have quarantined them from our living matrix. And so you can't ascend at this time. The, the ascension paths were cut off for quite a while. But now you have an opportunity to ascend out of third dimension and to go into the higher dimensions. So our ascension paths and light quotient. Your light quotient is the amount of light, God source energy your body is holding at any given time. It also rates your percentage of service to others energy. A high percentage is a high light quotient and your service to self, which is a low percentage. It's a low light quotient. You increase your light quotient and grow your light body through service to others activity. There are several paths in which you can take and several types of people who have taken these paths. You can access the Akashic Record at any time through meditation and ask your higher selves, what is my light quotient? Eventually, with ascension, you can read the light quotient of others. So if I were to go into meditation now, I'll ask my higher selves, what is my light quotient? And then I'll give you the answer. So today my light quotient is 89%. Ascension paths, 80% to 100% light quotient. You are on an ascension path, keep it up. This can be attained by totally devoting your life to unselfish service to others activity. Remember, humanity at lower dimensions is by nature self-serving, but you must limit it. Some tips. Following the laws of Ma'at, divine law, the law of one. Being abstemious in your diet. You don't have to be a vegetarian or vegan, but your diet must be balanced. According to Tahuti, reincarnated as Dr. Mitchell Gibson, it is impossible to astrally project eating pork and very difficult to do so if you are eating red meat. He also recommends eating a balanced diet of mainly fish and some chicken. Obtaining this level of light quotient will allow you to take in the high levels of God source energy being bombarded into our time matrix and recycle your energy to avoid molecular compaction and early death. 60 to 79 percent light quotient. You are struggling to keep balance on a daily basis. You have moments of clarity where you feel on top of the world and in others when you get caught up in vengeful, spiteful, and destructive behavior. You are probably eating too much fast food and your diet is sometimes out of balance. Tips. Do things for other people without expecting anything in return. Meditate more often. Read the laws of Ma'at every day and follow them. Start working out more and get your diet in check.
51 to 59 percent light quotient. This is where a majority of people are in our society. I live in the United States, but even when I visited Africa, a lot of people there were 50 percenters, even though they have access to the purest of energy pouring into the African continent. Warnings for 51 to 59 percent light quotient people. You are in jeopardy of permanently falling into a phantom matrix timeline. You will most likely be in need of a host soul matrix transplant. You still have time to ascend, but your time is running out. Right now, the bifurcation is, is actually still happening. You have a couple hundred years. So it still is possible for a person to, to bardo, which means you have physical death of your body and have to be reincarnated into this same planet and you still could ascend to higher levels of, of consciousness. You won't have to reincarnate on another third, fourth, or fifth dimensional planet. You can still reincarnate on what's left of this earth. Um, because like I said, we are still overlapped into the phantom matrix. So you still have time to build up your light body. However, you have to start today. You cannot just say, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week. You're borderline and you need to start really living service to others. Paths of fall. 20 to 50% light quotient. Most of these folks are the support system for the orchestrators of the fall. The fall did not just happen organically or naturally. The fall was orchestrated by higher dimensional beings who want to milk our energy through the phantom matrix. The phantom matrix accretes energy from the living matrix. It's a vampiric system. These 20 to 50 percent people, these are the people that when you come around them, they're constantly draining your energy, draining your energy. You have to have at least 51 percent light energy to ascend. So once you get to that 50 percent you are officially on a path to fall. These are the politicians, the law enforcement heads, and anyone who supports the powers that be in their quest for mind control, domination, and corruption. They call the Phantom Matrix home. They're happy to be there. They're most likely financially secure and on the path to exploit humanity. It does not mean that if you're financially secure, you're automatically going to be on a path to fall. It's, did you gain your money from exploiting others. There's one of the laws of Ma'at that states, I have not increased my wealth by things that are not my own. Have you been a taker? Are you exploiting? Are you cheating? How are you gaining your finances? Or did you earn it from your own sweat and not off the sweat of someone else's back? You're sociopathic and psychopathic and proud of it. These are the people that are like, oh, I'm taking it all. I'm not giving anything back. I'm, I'm proud of it. I, you, I lie, I cheat, I steal, I kill. These are the, the gangsters of society, people who conduct all types of negative behavior, exploitive behavior, violent behavior. You're selfish, you're living service to self. Zero to 20% light quotient. These are the orchestrators of the fall incarnated into our time matrix as the royal families of Europe, Asia, and some African dynasties. For whatever reason, the reptilian royalty, they have millions of years ago made it with human females. That's one of the things that Credo Mutua talks about. The and the Bible talks about it too, how the the um the gods made it with the daughters of men, the Elohim and the Nephilim, they were the ones who made it. Those reptilians made it with the females. And so now we have them incarnated into our, our humanity, our DNA lines, and they are the orchestrators of the fall. These are the ones who, they're the leaders of these new age and religious sects, the, the Pope, the Black Pope, televangelists. Radical Islamic terrorists, Zionists, leaders of Scientology. And see, the, most of these people at the lower levels, 
they have no idea that they're following false agendas. Like the lower level Scientologists, they don't they don't have the knowledge of the higher level Scientologists. They make them go out on uh, in the middle of the ocean before they let them get to those higher levels. You can't even get it secret. Freemasons, Knights Templar, OTO, Knights of Malta, all of these secret societies who have been manipulating and starting wars and stealing and taking and exploiting over the thousands of years of humanity. These are the orchestrators of the fall. Anyone in a position of power that uses their influence to gain anything for themselves, they lead the masses astray and they utilize this energy for their own selfish gains. Other special interest groups, the Bilderbergers, Majestic 12, Bohemian Grove, the Illuminati families, the Rothschilds, who are the children of the reptiles, the Rockefellers, who are the priests of the reptiles, the Chinese Lee family, the Astors, the Kennedys, the DuPonts. You can access Bibliotheca Pleiades for more information on the Illuminati families. It's a tidbit of information I wanted to throw in. So this is how they get them from an early age. So these people have been running this for thousands of years. Once the children of these families reach a certain age and they have gotten accustomed to a level of comfort, they're basking in this unlimited wealth and fame. They're told the truth. You want proof? Look at how handsome and innocent Prince William was until about the time he left university. He has aged considerably since then and his hair is balding. So that energy starts to just wear them down. However, they've gotten to the point where they, they just can't go back. And they just won't go back. They have no interest in ascension, and they're going to stay on this path until it leads them into black hole fall and oblivion. My theory is that they're hoping to use technology to break free of the phantom matrix and settle on another planet. So this is the end of our video um, of the bifurcation series for now. As people ask for more, I will expand upon it a little bit more. And I just wanted to give some references uh, reference credit to those who have given me source material. Voyagers 1 and 2 by Ashiana Dean, Kenontic Dictionary published by Azurite Press, and an interview with Credo Mutua from David Ike. This is Ani Asar. Peace and blessings.